Hello everyone. Today I'm at Heron Auto, Kia and Opel in Donegal Town, County Donegal. As usual, all additional information about this dealership will be mentioned in the description box below. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to give you a full on that tour of this 2010 Hyundai iX35. In this review I'm going to be looking at the interior of the car. I'll explain how all the features work, such the startup, look at the engine, forward the performance data, and take a look around the exterior. So today we'll begin a review at the exterior of the car. The blue exterior. 17 inch alloy wheels This particular iX35 is the premium model which is top spec basically High intensity discharge projector headlamps Lower fog lamps of the front grille. Also a chrome around the front fog lights. Black plastic lower side panels. Protect the paintwork from any debris or dirt or stones when travelling off-road. Very nice interior. Legroom and headroom is quite good. Very spacious and very comfortable. And the mirrors and sun visors. Good size glove box. Has tinted rear windows. Legroom back here is very good as well. Also got rear interior lighting. Storage pockets in the back of each front seat. Also has a cross center armrest. And two cup holders. Third seat belt for the passenger in the middle, integrated into the roof. Very nice car, I must say. Tons of room in it. Your filler tank itself. Also has tinted rear quarter windows. Integrated third brake light. Those rear reflectors in the very bottom part of the bumper. So those chrome badging. Oh. Rear trim is very good as well. One thing that I find with most cars that have very big interiors, they tend to sacrifice boot room, but in this case, you know, still have the headroom and the comfort and all the space in the interior, but the boot room hasn't been sacrificed at all. I 
Uh, so it's a 12 volt power outlet. Full size spare ally wheel. So it's a storage net. IX35 has a leather door panel, also has power folding mirrors, as well as power adjustments, also got front and rear electric windows, your central locking and your um, safety switch for the rear windows, storage pockets, as well as as well as manual adjusting seats with manual lumbar. Fuel filler cap release itself and your bonnet release. That's a tilt steering wheel. So let's turn off the fog lights as well as the hazards. Power on the radio. It's a Bluetooth MP3 radio. All your controls on the steering wheel. Controls for answering the phone. Volume controls, station controls, as well as mode and mute. Your cruise control settings as well as well as voice command. This particular IX35 has 44,108 kilometers on the clock. Climate control. Four different fan speeds. Front defrosting and rear. Aircon and max aircon. You also got your recycling. Storage for your sunglasses, as well as interior lighting. Vanity mirrors. Also have an iPod or auxiliary import as well as a USB import. So it's a 12 volt power, 12 volt power outlet on your left. And cigarette lighter. Also it's a six speed manual transmission. Just run through the gears. Engage reverse, pull up on the sleever, over to the left and up. Well, sure also has two cup holders with this removable cigarette ashtray. Also has a leather armrest. There's also a good storage area. It also has a nice mixture of cloth and leather in here. For example, it has cloth seats. Which is very comfortable and supportive. And then it has bits of leather on things such as the armrest and on parts of the door panel. So let's see how the IX35 sounds. That's about 3000 RPM. It's a very smooth leather wrapped steering wheel. Very light and responsive.
SIX35. It's a 2 liter CRDI, which also stands for Common Rail Direct Fuel Injection. It's an estimated 0 to 60 time of about 10.5 seconds. At the top speed of 113 miles per hour, produces 134 brake horsepower. It's a 4 cylinder, 16 valve engine, producing 236 torques. Can average 47 miles to the gallon. This IX35 is front wheel drive. Four wheel drive options are available. So just before we finish up the review, I'd like to give my own personal opinions. I actually really like the Hyundai iX35. I think it is extremely similar to the Kia Sportage between styling on the exterior, looks very similar, and the interior is well, pretty much the same as well really. One or two little differences, but overall pretty much the same thing. Most Hyundai's and Kia's though are extremely similar cars. Take the Kia C and a Hyundai i30 for example. Pretty much look the exact same, just rebadged. The interior of the car, as I mentioned throughout the review, is extremely spacious, very comfortable seats, legroom is excellent, as is the headroom. Back seats are equally as good, loads of room back there for three passengers. Boot space, as I said, hasn't been sacrificed in favour of the roomy interior. So it's very, very spacious, tons of room. And this premium model is very well equipped with the Bluetooth hands-free kit on the steering wheel. Also has a MP3 radio as I uh, explained earlier. And aircon, as well as your auxiliary on port and USB. Also has a digital fuel gauge like most cars are heading towards these days. Just here on the right. It shows me about a quarter of a tank left. I think the whole analog system is slowly but surely fading out of cars, everything's been replaced digitally these days. It's definitely a very good car. Gets very good mileage as well. And also, I explained when I was uh, looking at the engine that CRDI stands for Common Real Fuel Direct Injection. I have come across a few CRDI vehicles when reviewing, but I never explained what that meant, so I just thought I'd do it in this video. IX35 also has a 5 star safety rating. So it's a very safe family car. And the lower panels are protected by the black plastic on the front and rear bumpers as well as the side skirts. So a very good car all around. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed this full and depth tour of the 2010 Hyundai iX35. Please remember to rate, comment and subscribe, and please stay tuned, there's plenty more videos to come. Thanks everyone.